Welcome back mga kamatlets. It's me again, Teacher Robert. So, in our previous video, we discussed about uh, the uh, operations on integers and also the absolute value. Now, our topic in this video is all about the properties. We have the properties on the operations of integers, no? So in this video, you will know about some of the properties of real numbers that are on uh, applicable on the operations on the sets of integers. Okay, throughout the discussion, we will assume that the numbers represented by the letters A, B, and C are integers. So, so throughout our discussion, delete the magamit of like for example, the axioms and the definition we will use the letters A, B, and C to represent the integers. No? So, let's start with the closure property. Now, closure property, we have two integers that are added and multiplied remains remain as integers. So, this is close under addition and multiplication. So, kung ano, kung doha ka integers that you are going to add or multiply, Ang resulta is still still a uh, still it is an integer. So when you add two numbers, still the the result is a number. Okay, we have the 1.1 closure property of addition. So if a and b are real numbers, then a plus b is a unique real numbers. So that is when you add two real numbers, the result is still a real number. So for example, we have adding two real numbers produces another real number. For example, 15 plus 16 is equal to 31. So, 15 and 16 are real numbers or they are integers. So, if you are going to add 15 and 16, the result is 31. Still, 31 is a real number. Okay? Real number ang 31. So, that is about that is closure property of addition. Now, closure property of addition. Now, Closure property of multiplication. Again, closure property is closed under addition and multiplication. Subtraction and division is not uh, applicable. Uh, closure property is not applicable to multiplication and we have division. No? It is closed under addition and multiplication. No. Subtraction, rather, subtraction and division is not applicable. Now we have. We have only addition and multiplication. So, what closure property of multiplication? So, if A and B are real numbers, then A times B is a unique real number. As I've said, in a closure property, kung closure property, in a simple definition, kung may ngong gali ka, kung add kuno ka og duha ka number, or multiply og duha ka real numbers, or integer, ang mo resulta kuno, is still a integer and or integer or real numbers no mo resulta siya og na dili siya mo resulta og another type another kinds of numbers no so we have if a and b are real numbers then a times b is a unique real number for example so that is multiplying two real numbers produces another real number so that is 8 times 7 so, 8 and 7 are real numbers. So, 8 times 7 is equal to 56. So, 56 is a real number. So, that is closure. Closure is that. Okay. Second property is all about commutative property. What's this commutative property? So, commutative property is changing the order of two numbers that are either being added or multiplied does not change the value. So, that is, for example, A plus B is equal to B plus A. Or A times B is equal to B times A. It is close again under addition and multiplication. Because subtraction and division is not commutative. No? It is the commutative ang division of subtraction. Now, ingon pa, ang commutative ko no, bisan pag i-change ni mo ang order, sa pag-add o pag-multiply, ang resulta is the same. Dilik ma-change. For example, when you are going to add 2 plus 3, 
same result when you are going to add 3 plus 2. Di ba? So, uh, kung balik na na to, 2 plus 3, balik na na to, is equal to 3 plus 2. So, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, and also 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Thus, 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 2. O ha? Though we change the order in adding that number, but the answer or the that the value does not change. The result wala na utro, no? So 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Gibal gibal gi change na to into 3 plus 2. The result is the same. It is, it is still 5. Still it is 5, no? So we have that is commutative. No? Commutative is all about though we are changing its order, but the value is the same. No? So we have another example is negative 16 plus negative 5 is the same with if you are going to change the order into negative 5 plus negative 16. Now negative 16 plus negative 5 is negative 21. Correct? And also negative 5 plus negative 16 is also negative 21. So the result is wala na utra, uh, wala na utro, di ba? So though we change the order of the two numbers, pero wala na utro ang result. Okay, that's commutative. Okay. We have another is 100 plus 99 is equal kung mo add ko no tag 99 plus 100 di ba so maorag resulta that is commutative property of addition oh. now we have commutative property of multiplication we have 2 times 3 oh mao nang nag represent sa kaning 8 e times b is equal to b times e that is multiplication so we have if we're going to substitute that one in a number we have 2 times 3 is equal to 3 times 2. Okay. So, if we're going to multiply 2 times 3, the result is 6. Am I right? 6. Now, also, if we're going to multiply 3 times 2, the result is also 6. So, therefore, they are equal. So, we have 2 times 3 is equal to 3 times 2. Oh, bisan to una change ang order pero wala ma change ang result. Oh, that's commutative. We have number 5 uh, example number 5 we have negative 4 times negative 15. Negative 4 times negative 15 is equal to negative 15 times negative 4. Gibalira ang order ha? It's all about changing order. Commutative property is all about changing order. Okay. We have 10 times 25 is equal to 25 times 10. Pareho nagresulta. Okay? That's commutative property. Okay. The third uh, property is all about associative property. Associative property. Now, associative property is all about changing the grouping of numbers. It involves three number. Okay. It involves three number or three or more numbers. We have Changing the grouping of numbers that are either being added or multiplied does not change its value. So the differ or no the the difference between the associative and commutative is that commutative used only two or applicable only in two uh, numbers, while associative property is more than two. No, it's all about grouping of numbers. Grouping of numbers. So for example, we have a times b quantity a plus or a quantity a plus b plus c is equal to A plus the quantity B plus C. No? So, as you observe, ang there is a left side sa atong equation, ang giuna pag grupo or nasa sulod sa parenthesis is ang A o B. So, ha? Sa right side, ang grupo na po sa PCAS is B plus C, B and C. That is all about changing the grouping, changing the grouping of numbers. Lain ang grupo. But though, Though we change the order or, or we change the grouping of numbers, but still that the the uh, the value does not change or the the result wala dili mautro. Uh, same as in multiplication, if we are going to multiply a times b, 
or the quantity A or the the product of AB times C is equal to A times the product of B and C. Okay? So, for example, if you are going to add three numbers that are 2, 3, uh, we are going to add 2, 3, and 4. So, if we are going to, kung atong unahon pag-add si 2 plus 3, usap pa na to i-add ni 4. Maura na sa resulta kung unahon na to pag-add si 3 o 4, ayun, uh, adisir pa na to i-add kang 2. So, ha? Okay. Atong i-check ha, kung correct ba, nga, kana nga, kana nga equation, we have, so, kung i-add na to una si 3, we are going to apply the PM dash here, no, no, the, the, the rule of the PM dash, we have, as, if you are still remember the, the PM dash, we have the parenthesis, the multiplication, uh, division, addition, subtraction, that's the rule in how you are going to uh, simplify expression. First, you are going to perform or simplify expression inside the parenthesis. Mau mana sa PM das, no? Now, we have 2 plus 3 naman sa sulod. So, sila yung unang muna 2. So, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Then, that is 5 plus 4 is 9. So, kaning isa pikas on the right side, yung una na to si 3 plus 4, that is 7, plus 2, 9. So, pareho sila 9. The result is the same. Though we change the grouping of number, we change na to, we otro na to ang grouping, dari agi group na to kini sila, then ang sa pikas, kini pong 3 and 4, ang resulta pareho. No? That is what we call associative property. No? Another example is, 10 plus 5 plus 8 is equal to 10 plus 5 plus 8. Ang grouping, maura same number, but the grouping is different. Ang gigroup sa left side is 10 of 5 Sa right side is 5 of 8. Oha. So, but, again, though we change the grouping of number, but still the answer or the result is the same. So, we have 10 plus 5 is 15. There is because 5 plus 8 is 13. So, there is because we add 8, the result is 23. 10 plus 13 is 23. Though, pareho sila, no, pareho sila. Okay, that is associative property of addition. As associative property of addition. Now, let's move to associative property of multiplication. Huh? Associative property of multiplication, we have 4 times 3 times 5 is equal to 4 times 3 times 5. Now, okay. Maumani, aning times dia ah, beware ha, beware. Sa inyong module, we are using, sa karun, karun pang topic, we are using this symbol. We will allow this symbol as, uh, to represent the multiplication. But, in our next topic, we will not consider or we will not use this symbol to represent multiplication because it might have uh, you might have a confusion uh, confusion malibog mo kung kana ba siya is multiplication or the variable so sunod sunod ng mga topic dili na nato i allowed but this in this topic we allow this symbol as the symbol of multiplication as you have learned in your elementary mathematics no so we have 4 times 3 again we are now in associative property of multiplication we have 4 times 3 times 5. So, we multiply the 3 numbers. 4 times 3 times 5 is equal to 4 times 3 times 5. You have the product of 4 and 3 times the uh, multiplied to 5. Or 4 is equal to 4 times the product of 3 and 5. Oh, yung anak magbasa. So, we have... Una na to, ang tanawa, ang grouping, oh. There is a primero, giparis, 4 of 3. Pag-abot rin sa pikas, si 3 and 5, the grouping. No? So, ang tanawa ang grouping, ha, ang pattern sa grouping. So, that is associative property. We have, if you are going to check that one, whether that that is correct, that is... So, first, we are going to get the, the product of 4 and 3. So, 12 times the 5, the result is 60. Then, in the right side of our equation, we have, we... Uh, get first the product of 3 and 5 
3 and 5, so that makes 15. Then multiply it to 4, that makes 60. Now that makes 60. So, all the expression, or both left and right, pareho sila, result of 60. The same result, pareho. So, correct. Daily mag, correct nga, daily mag change ang value do, we change the grouping of numbers. So, ha? That's associative. So, another example of multi associative property of multiplication is 2 times 10, or the product of 2 and 10 times are multiplied to 4, is equal to 2 multiplied to the product of 10 and 4. Okay. So, we have, maura kuno na sila yung resulta. No, maura na sila yung resulta. That is associative. Based on the definition and the examples given. So, we have next is the distributive property. Distributive property is when two numbers have been added or subtracted and then multiplied by a factor, the result will be the same when each number is multiplied by the factor and the product are then added or subtracted. Ako ha? Kung, kung, ano, kung if you are going to, uh, kung mag-multiply ko na or mag-add ka of number, then you are going to multiply this by a factor. Pariho ra ko na ang resulta kung imong i-distribute Imong i-multiply isa-isa katong factor sa katong mga number. Maura ko nung adi sir ka mo add or mo subtract. Intermission sa to. O oh, intermission. Mangko, budboron ko no. <laughs> o, oh, ingong pag. Mangko, budboron, budboron, mangko. O, oh, mauto si Jai. Ah, commutative. Mangko, budburon, budburon, mangko. O, commutative. Okay, balik na sa itong topic. So, we have distributive property again. Huh? Distributive property. Now, we have A. So, A times the sum or the sum of B plus or B and C. O, or A times the quantity of B plus C. Pariho ra kuno resulta kung i-multiply nimo isa-isa. That is A times B plus A times C. Oh, that's distributive. Tanaw ang distributive mo. Si A gi-distribute kang B og kang C. Duha, addisir ka mag plus. Duha. Uh, same as in subtraction. Oh, A gi-distribute kang B og A gi-distribute kang C. Si factor nga na sa gawas gi isa-isa pag distribute sa mga number nga na sa sulod. Nakuha. Adi sir pa nimo i-perform kung unsay operation nga na sa sulod, it's either subtraction or addition. Oh, nakuha nindo. For example. Oh, example. Kana example is 2 times 23 plus 4 is equal ko no o atong kung atong ibuwag o atong i-distribute that is, gidistribute na to si to ha o mao na kaling gitawag si Jao distributive property, kay gidistribute na to si to sa kang 3 o 4 na to, ha? since multiplication si Jao kining nga symbol kining nga symbol, kanang na ay doha ka uh, parenthesis oh? kanang close and open parenthesis dia, that is symbol for multiplication sa mathematics no so, close open parenthesis, that's multiplication. So, if you are going to distribute, i-multiply ko nun mo si 2, kang 3 of 4. So, that is 3 times, uh, 2 times 3, of 2 times 4. Na kay plus man ang nasa tunga, so addition, plus. O ha? So, atong i-check kung tinuod ba, basi sa job na siya nga, kung, kung sa job na siya, basi dilik pareho og resulta. O, atong i-check. O, oh, kaneng pikas, ato yung check, kaneng edit so na to, 3 plus 4, 7, and times 2, the result is 14. Whereas, kung ako nga itong i-distribute po, we have 2 times 3, 6, 2 times 4, 8, adi sir pata mag plus, 6 plus 8, 14 ga hapon. So, correct ga hapon. So, though we distributed the factor in each number of the, inside the parenthesis, but still the, the, the result is the same. Huh? 
So that is distributive property. Can I distribute? Get distribute? Kini sa jangga process, no? Get distribute. That is distributive property. We only check this one. Dili nang is damo. Get check ranato kung sakto ba, okay? Kini ra sa jangga babaw. That's distributive. Same as the other example. Kato checking one ati labot, no? Can I rang process? Okay. We have no example number two. We have five times the quantity eight minus three is equal to if we are going to multiply or distribute five to eight and three. That is five times eight minus five times three. So, ato in check. Kung correct ba? We have eight minus three is five. So we have five times five is twenty five. Ato in check. Kung ato in distribute mo ra ba? This is the mag subtract. We have five times eight is forty. 5 times 3 is 15. Na kay minus 1, so 40 minus 15 is 25. Na kuha. Okay. Basit na libog mo dari, tawa, minus, nara ang minus, subtraction nara, di ba? Nara, 8 minus 3 na, 8 minus 3. Ang 5 ra itong gi, usa-usa nila pag times. Kuha? Okay, that's distributive property. Next is identity property. We have identity property. We have two types of identity property. We have the additive identity and the multiplicative identity. What's the meaning of additive identity? From the word identity property. First, additive identity. Sa addition na isda. State that the sum of any number and zero is the given number. Zero is the additive identity. Kung sa addition... Ingon pa sa identity, kung mo add kuno ka og number, i-add mo ang number uh, sa ad, uh, kung mag-add kuno ka og number, unsa ang resulta? Mao ra gyapon same. For example, 4 plus blank is is equal to 4. So ang i-add mo is 0. 0. 0 is the additive identity. Si 0 mao nay additive identity. Oh. Number si ja nga maka makapagawa sa identity when it comes to addition mo resulta o pareho nga number bisan og imong i-add nakuha so any number that is add to zero is still the number that is additive identity no okay we have for example 4 plus 0 is equal to 4 oh for gapo negative 10 plus 0 is equal to negative 10 99 plus 0 is equal to 99 oh di ba Oh, maura kaya pun. Zero plus zero is zero. <laughs> oh, kay mau nang injuk score zero. Sa first activity, second activity zero. Oh, zero kaya pun hang tud karon. Kay wak naghimo. Oh, di ba? Now we have multiplicative identity. States that the product of any number and one is given number. So kung sa zero Ano kung sa addition, ang additive identity ni Ja is 0. Kaya kung mag-add ko no ka o any number sa 0, ang muresulta, kato gaya po nga number. Sa multiplicative identity, kung mag-multiply ka o number ko no sa 1, because 1 is the multiplicative identity, 1 ha, kaya any number that is multiplied to 1 is still the number. Okay. Okay, we have still the number. So we have a times one is equal to a. Still the number. For example, twelve times one is equal to twelve, and thirty-two times one or negative thirty-two times one is equal to negative thirty-two, and ninety-nine times one is equal to ninety-nine. That is identity property, multiplicative identity property. Or we have identity property of multiplication. Pwede this is Identity property of multiplication. Any number that is multiplied to one is still the number. Oh, more than that, because one is the multi is a multiplicative identity. Oh, nakuha. Number six is inverse property. What's the meaning inverse property? From the word inverse, kabalik taran, no? Kabalik taran or the opposite. No, how we have inverse. So let's start with a, the additive inverse, and we have the multiplicative inverse. Sa inverse property, niingon pa nga kung mo add ko no ka of number of sa isang additive inverse, ang mo resulta is the zero. 
is zero. So zero ang resulta. So for example, a plus negative a is equal to zero. The additive inverse of positive number is the negative numbers or the negative of that number. No? For example, or the additive inverse of negative number is the positive of that number. Bali-bali. No? Inverse property na. For example, you have 9. Para mahimong 0 si 9, atong adan o inverse ni dya. O the additive inverse. So, the additive inverse of 9 is negative 9. O ha? So, that is 0. We have negative 58. O, kung sa may atong i-add para mahimong 0 si dya. So, it's inverse. Negative man si dya. So, ada na ito o positive para mahimong 0. O ha? Next is 99. Kung sa may i-add na ito ang 99 para mahimong 0. That is negative 99. Okay. Ngayon mo sa 0. That is additive inverse. Again, the additive inverse of positive number is the negative of that number. And the additive inverse of negative number is the positive of that number. Okay. Let's move on to the uh, multiplicative inverse property. Or the inverse property multiplication. We have kaganina sa additive, ang mo resulta 0. Sa multiplicative, unsa may atong i-multiply ko no sa number para mahimong 1. Para mahimong 1. Okay. Oh. Kayo mo ingon ka og para mahimong 0, 0 na i-multiply. Any number that is multiplied to 0, di ba, sa rule, sa multiplication of integer. Pero kay ang the result, unsa man kuno atong i-multiply sa number nga mahimong isang 1. That is multiplicative inverse property. State that the product of any number and its multiplicative inverse or the reciprocal is 1. We're talking about reciprocal. When you are going to multiply kuno a number and its reciprocal, ang resulta is 1. So, ang atong i-multiply is the reciprocal of that number para mahimong 1. Okay? So, the multiplicative inverse of a number A is 1 over A. Balik na rin. <laughs> oh, for example, 6. Kung sabay, i-multiply kang 6. So, para mahimong 1. 1 over 6. Naroha. Oh. Negative 22. Kung sa may ato i-multiply kang negative 22 para mahimang 1. Negative 1 over 22. Ah, gibalira, gibutang rastubos ang 22. Naaghapon ng negative. O ha? 1 of, magali ni pattern. 1 times 1 over A is equal to 1. O na, eh, gibutang rastubos sila. Oh, sorry. Bas okay, we have 4 over 7. Sir, pa paano man na? Fraction. Okay. Kung fraction, ah, masa dun. Balik taron ra, balik reciprocal gani, reciprocal. So 4 over 7. O sa i-multiply, so kabalik taran man, so that is 4, oh no, 7 over 4, ibalira. That is the multiplicative inverse of that number. Num another example is 5 over 8. O, on sa may multiplicative inverse nila, 8 over 5, para mahimong 1. Times 8 over 5, para mahimong 1. Because 5 times 8 is 40, 8 times 5 is 40. 40 divided 40 is 1. Di ba? O, balik taroon. Balik taroon. Mm, mm. Okay. okay. So, that's all. Thank you. Thank you for listening. See you in our next video. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.